We all have good ideas from time to time, though it can be difficult to know how to turn them into really great ideas that can help people. Testing out our ideas is the only way to know how to make them better. But how can we structure this process to check what works and what doesn't? Prototyping is more than just trying out. You need to have a structured approach to check whether what you're about to do is effective before investing in it. But is there a way of knowing how and when to test your work? The prototype testing plan helps you go through a structured series of steps to keep improving your work and avoid getting lost when the feedback starts piling up. The worksheet indicates two periods when it is usually beneficial to test your idea, in the early stage of development and in the later stages just before full implementation. You can build a prototype using various materials or simply draw or act out your idea. Helen works for an agricultural consultancy. She and her team want to help a community where farmers have low income because they rely on unpredictable rice cultivation. Her consultancy believes that potatoes would thrive in the region. They grow in winter, the farmers can grow them quickly and sell a lot of produce. Helen wants to test this new model for growing and selling potatoes. She uses the prototype testing plan. They generate a hypothesis. They try out the idea to assess whether it can work in real life. Helen and her team create a map of the region with potato farms, storage facilities, markets and communities of farmers. They think through all the different ways that the system could work. They do a role play exercise by acting out the different models and interactions and creating an experience map and story world. They identify problems and what could be improved. They test the idea again by demonstrating the model with sample farmers and experts in agriculture. With their feedback, Helen and her team refine the model and create a blueprint to map out how all the new elements work. Before they can make their idea a reality, they need to make a list of all the things that they need. Using the prototype testing plan, Helen and her team are confident enough to run a pilot project that has a greater chance of being successful. The farmers can be more certain that the new system of growing and selling potatoes will bring more income and security for their families.